Okay, um, good afternoon again, and uh, welcome to another session on financial accounting together with the councils. And uh, for this afternoon, we'll be discussing about stock options. Another, um, another uh, item with the shareholders that could be about stock options. Now, what is a stock option? Now, uh, companies may uh, grant you know, their uh, executive officers some sort of an option to purchase shares of stock. Now, why do they have to do this? Uh, probably the, the key employees no, are so valuable to the corporation that they want them to stay for a long time no, with, the, with the corporation. So uh, they, they have provided them with stock options. Okay? So stock options can either be cash settled or equity. Equity settled, meaning it will be settled by issuing shares of stock or cash at all. No? In cash. Putting your tires of equity. Okay. So how does it work? Um, so for example, okay, uh, this is the date of grant. This is the date when the options are granted to the shareholder, to the key employees. And say for example, it needs okay, they have to stay with the company for the next two years before they can exercise. So this is the exercise. Okay. Assuming that another year for the exercise day. So this is what we call the vesting period. So uh, those uh, key employees that will receive uh, stock options will have to observe the vesting period. No? Now, um, on the part of the company, now during the vesting period, the value of the stock options will have to be recognized as compensation expense. Because in effect, these are these are what these are additional compensation given to your key employees. No, so kina kailangan you recognize the compensation expense during the time that it's still in the vesting period. Para pag it's exercise period, no? you just have to reverse what has been uh, uh, recognized earlier you know, as part of the shareholders' equity that the stock options. Okay? So let's have an example. Um,
Okay, so let's have this example. Yeah. So the company corporation granted uh, 10,000 share options to each of the three key personnel, the president, the vice president, and the same firm. The fair value of the options at the interbank is 35 pesos per option. Now the key personnel will have to stay for the next two years. So the, the next two years will be the best time period before they can exercise. Okay, so how many shares, how many options? Number of options, yes. Uh, that's going to be 10 times 3, that's 30,000 shares. Times the fair value of the option, the data credit is 35. Okay. 35. Okay. Therefore, how much is the fair value of the options? It's 30,000 times 35. So this is 1 million fifty. Now the one million fifty will be vested for the next two years, so divided by two. So this is five hundred twenty-five thousand. So this is the amount of compensation expense that we have to be recorded in the books for the next two years. Okay, to recognize the share options. Okay. So what we get the debit compensation expense. and credit to the share premium from uh, share option for Now the following year they would have to again make this entry huh? uh, to recognize the compensation expense to the three executives. Okay? Share premium from share options and Okay, now at exercise date, I don't know the, the shares of the, the options will be exercised by the, uh, by the employees, no? Okay, so therefore, how much, uh, how much will be the shares? That's going to be... Okay, debit cash for how much? How much is the option price? Uh, option, option price. So that's going to be 30,000 times 60. That's 1.8 million. Okay, then we can share option, share premium from share option, which is 1 million, zero fifty. Credit share capital, or 30,000 times. How much is the power? We're going to need that. So we want to for So we can pay source. So this is 300,000 and then the premium for the difference. So this is Okay, so that's uh, valuation number one. Now, what if on the second year of the best period, what if one resigns? Is our balance not Will that affect? Yes, of course, no? Because if we are going to be able So this is the first year, no? Second year of the second year. We will have to recalculate, no? Because we only uh, options that will be vested will be for two. Uh, so that will be 20,000 times 25. So this is 700,000 over. Okay. 700,000. Now we have already recognized 525 from the previous year. 
So therefore, we just need to recognize an additional 175. So the following year, on the second year, the item would be debit compensation expense for 175 and credit share premium for 175. So the retired value we have to calculate based on the existing condition. Okay? So, so bad in the balance. So that's equity uh, settlement in terms of uh, stock option. Okay, so I'll be back again for the next topic.